Ostrovia. Budím d- d- Hello everybody, this is Detective Steve, this is Tyler, and this is Tim. We all got done finished watching Red 2. Yeah, th- so I'm posting this instead of a normal casual review just because Timmy here is off to college in a few days, right? Yep, it's I'm almost leaving. like you're actually Ash Ketchum, except you're, you're like leaving. leaving you know? I'm leaving in three days. So yeah. anyway, Indeed. I was, so no, the, I was going to say the first thing we should talk about the movie. <laughs> uh, no, no, the, not the movie itself. Was the fact that no one else was in there besides us. Yes, it, it, it was, was just us. So, in light of the <laughs> fact that we were the only ones in the theater, we took the liberty of turning our phones on the highest <laughs> sound that they could be at. Oh, talking as loud as we can. Talking as loud as we could, and I took the liberty of going to the very top and running through each row. Yeah, that's down what... to the bottom and touching the screen. Yes. I ran around for a little while. But oh, and Steve, I of course, t- I got tired. And Steven did puppets with the yeah, screen. Yeah, puppets against the screen. I didn't see that one. Well, he did uh, that. Well, I, and I did. It was cool. Oh, we also, all stand on this pole thing. And I also jumped we around did, the theater. Yeah, we did a sort of king of the world kind of mentality. We got up <laughs> on the railing, leaned our legs against it, and just stood there. It's really the best movie atmosphere that yes. you can get. When no one else is there besides your friends. Yes. God, guys, when you get rich and just buy your own theater, that'd be awesome. Yeah, but then the novel... Can someone just win a lottery or something? Uh, I'll get right on that, Tyler. Good for you. The two couple are having relationship problems. I think more because he wants to be safe and she wants to have action. And let me just say that these two are... Not so much that he wants to be safe. He wants her to be safe. Yeah. And pretty much through the whole movie, they do a terrible job of trying to fix the problem. Yeah, for, kind of battling each other. In okay, a sense. first of all, they already got this little conflict of theirs going on, and then later, Catherine Zeta Jones comes into the movie. Turns out she's an old romance of Frank's, and she kisses him, and that creates tension. And then later, she kisses somebody else for the purpose of an interrogation, and not Catherine Zeta Jones, Sarah, Sarah, Sa- Sarah, and then Sarah kisses somebody else as for interrogation as sort of a revenge kind of thing i guess in spite of how badly this is being handled and like oh well you did this to wrong me i'm gonna do this to wrong you oh and now we're just all cool let's go to dinner since we're in paris the comedy in the movie was in a way rather reminiscent of last time this time it was much focused on uh sarah compared to last movie where it was mainly focused on marvin who is john malkovich's character and Marvin even seemed to take on a little bit more of a mentoring role in their uh, he was couple's the love, relationship. Yeah, he was the love guru of this And movie. While, while it was kind of a joke about him being the love guru, he was semi-right most of the time. <laughs> and it was, it, it was just strange knowing that how less crazy he is. The first ten minutes of the movie, that, that, that was pretty much classic. John Malkovich as Marvin. Yeah, and then the rest of it is like he's rather calm. I mean, besides during action, but he's pretty calm. I I wouldn't say that comparatively to the first one. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. comparatively he's just <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 he was a crazy paranoid in the first movie, and uh, I really I mean, like one I really of my like favorite that. scenes with him in the first movie is when he had the fake bomb and he's just chasing after the vice president and his guards mm-hmm. and just yelling crazy John Malkovich anyway it really um, has been a while since I've seen the first movie anyway to the plot I'm not going to try to spoil it too much but Anthony Hopkins who is apparently the scientist locked it for 30 something years 32 32 years and he has a device he, or he knows where a certain device is it's called Nightshade, essentially. It's this it's a giant big untraceable nu- nuclear bomb. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that pretty much that's it. And no one knows why it's untraceable, like why you can't spot the radiation. Be- because it no, 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 it does say why, but no one knows beforehand. Because that would be spoilers. Good job, Steven. Ruining your own show. Uh, Helen Mirren is back again in this movie. I think there's just something about British people. Eh? They're just infinitely more talented than we are and more charismatic I, I don't know if British people feel the same way granted probably not as much 
because, you know, they're used to watching British people. So that they're used to being surrounded by brilliance. So she was So a, it's not as big a deal for but, them but, but as it is for us. But there's a difference because the British only have like 14 actors. Helen Mirren, especially when she's on the phone in that one scene, uh, would this be kind of spoilers? I'm not telling you what's it, it was in the trailer, so no. Basically, she's saying, I've been hired by MI6 to kill you. And then she's just dumping acid on this dead body just so calmly. And I'm like, oh, I love her. Yeah, and, yeah her, her character was very much like her character in the first movie. Yeah. Where she just is itching to kill someone. Not, oh, yeah. Not to mention she does these things that are unspeakably horrible. And they even, like, make people turn their heads a little bit. And she's just being calm and cool about it. Pretty much. I love it. And the fact that she's British just makes it all the more cool. Then you got the uh, an assassin who's been sent after Frank as well. Um, his name is Han, I believe. Really wanted to say that. Okay, how about this? The Asian guy, he has some really cool and interesting fight scenes. And he he's kind of like a subtly funny character at the same time. He seems crazy to me. In a way, he, he's very obsessed about his plane. Yeah. I never got why. I mean, it's a nice plane, but... Well, hey, planes are expensive. Who 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 really needs more reason than that to get pissed about something? Yeah. And one of you go first with your final okay. thoughts. I need to gather my final thoughts. Um, the movie, I don't know if I get. I, I liked it, but I can't say it was better than the first one. I thought the first one was a lot more fun, more fun. Plus, the first one had Morgan Freeman, and that's always amazing. I mean, even if he was in there for a small time. Um, the first one, like I just said, was a lot better. I know some more action, but. Se- the second one still did held up pretty well. The first one I gave like an eight point five out of ten. The second one I'm just gonna give a seven point five. For me, the first and the second movie sort of stacked up evenly. I have to disagree with Tyler. This is a slight tangent on the Morgan Freeman thing because he is in there so little. Morgan Freeman to me only plays well. In a movie, when he is a main and dramatic character, I've seen if, him. if he is in there for just a short time, like he has been doing a, in a lot of movies lately, it's kind of awkward for me at least. But okay, off that tangent, um, I thought the comedy was still pretty good, uh, as I've said, and it, they have about the same amount of it as last time, and they have a good amount of action in this one too. Um, and I like that they kept it similar, but they made it different in the end. And they didn't just pull off the same exact plot as last time. And so, I can tell you're itching to f- argue with me. And <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm actually just looking for your rating right now. I, I was about to give it. Um, and in the end, I'd probably give both the first and the second one an 8.5. Okay. Me... I gave the first one a 6 out of 10, just because action movies have never been a strong interest for me in general, at least not without something stronger to emotionally anchor me. In the case of Red, I give it a few more points just because of the great one-liners that are in it, which granted are supposed to be in most action movies, but eh, I digress. Um... The characters in this did a lot of stupid things, namely Frank and Sarah. Just the continuing thing about their relationship, it w- it just got kind of ridiculous. But it it also was nice that they didn't focus on it as if it was drama or anything. Like you know how petty drama can be over romances and stuff. Granted, this was still paid, but they didn't realize they didn't treat it like their relationship was doomed or anything. So I thought that was a nice change or a nice cliche to not have in this movie. Yeah. The humor was still really great. There are a few one liners that if they can stick in my mind, I will use them in my daily life. Overall, I would rate it on par with the first movie as a whole. But if I really had to weigh between the two of them... I would probably say the first one. I think I like the comedy of the first one a little more. And I think I'd have to give that the edge. As far as a whole, 
6 out of 10 for both of them. They're decent movies, not great, but I, I don't have anything outright horrible to say against them. Now, may I interject and say something? Yes. About your point of view. You seem to be taking it from a point of it's an action movie with comedy aspects. I basically see it the other way around, that it's a comedy movie with action aspects. And so that's why I think that you might be seeing it a bit different than Tyler and I, because would you agree with me? Mm -hmm. So. Maybe you're going in there expecting something different. And then it something seems like you're, you're going in there expecting only like. Like a bunch of like just well, no, an like, action movie with like a Schwarzenegger, like a Schwarzenegger movie. It seems like you're just going in there expecting an action movie with one liners. Uh, well, I well, go in there expecting consistent comedy with action uh, to forward the plot. That's possible, but only because I feel like the plot is mostly driven by the action. What, what can I say? That's just taking a look at the movie. That's what I see. It's an action movie with. Pretty good comedy, I will say. So, some action movies just have a few chuckles every now and then, maybe one big laugh. This this movie keeps the laughs coming. Well, thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one. Adios. You, you won't get to see my haircut. He hates it. I do.